Hello beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel Monica Proof again. Uh, today I'm with you because I want to review Iconic London uh, brand. It's not my first collaboration. I will just show you what I have for you. So first of all, um, we have this prep uh, set uh, glow, uh, what I will review for you. Yep. And then we have also today uh, Iconic London Highlighter Liquid Drops. And I will try first time also with you guys uh, Iconic London Lashes. Uh, we have also some brushes. Um, I didn't try them yet. Oh, whoops. I didn't try them yet, uh, they are all set uh, brushes for uh, eyes, uh, they are vegan, they are synthetic, they are not natural brushes hair, which is amazing. Uh, my beauties, I have for you as well, Ta-da! Iconic London beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette and about this we will also uh, talk today. I will try some shades on me. I will swatch for you some shimmers as well. Um, on the end of end, we have some new product from Iconic, and this is uh, cream flash uh, eye pot. What? Yeah, cream flash uh, eye pot, and I have shade lunar. Uh, you can use this uh, as a eyeshadow. I know they dry like a mat. No, sorry. I know they dry, <laughs> not like a mat. Um, so yeah, I don't have any makeup on me. Yes, this is my natural skin. I have eyebrows per moment makeup, so I cannot do some crazy, funny eyebrows shape. I just have to follow this what I have. Um, behind the camera because i want to just focus on iconic london product behind the camera i will put like a base for me uh two farsali product this is rose gold uh, moisturizer and then um unicorn essential it's like a primer for makeup not just primer it's like uh, keeping your skin safely from all chemical makeup product and uh, as uh, my uh, foundation and primer, I go with Tarte. I love this product, especially concealer. It's my number one. Uh, Tarte foundation, I will use its shade tape, and this is shade light, uh, medium, neutral. Uh, and concealer, it's uh, just light. As uh, eyebrows, I will use this Benefit uh, cream uh, gel and I have shade number three. I don't know if this is good shade for me, but I will try. It's also my first review about this Benefit product. And I will come back to you when I finish my base uh, makeup. So we will have all this tutorial faster. <laughs> See you soon. Bam. I have on me also, I forgot to tell you my best Huda Beauty. Uh, this uh, translucent powder, it's uh, sugar coke. I just want to tell you my winner for this year. This year it will be Huda Beauty uh, translucent powder and uh, foundation Fenty Pro filter. They are my best product this year. When base it's done, we go to this amazing day to slay eyeshadow palette cost about 600 crowns and we have 20, 20 shades in here, 12 shimmers from this uh, palette and 8 uh, mattes. We have very beautiful uh, translucent shades, it's this one in here and also a little bit the darker over there. Um, I think this peach uh, color can be also very nice and warm. I do love this color in here. Um, okay, maybe maybe let me swatch you some gold shimmer, which is 24 karat gold. 
uh, and I will compare with Huda Beauty rose gold palette because she have also 24 karat uh, shade over there. Nice swatch for you guys in here. This is Huda Beauty. This is Iconic London. Let me zoom you. Uh, for sure, Iconic London. It's more warm uh, undertone, and Huda Beauty 24 karat gold. It's more cold. Uh, in here lower, I will swatch. Oh my Jesus, they are so beautiful. Like I love them. Rags to reach, uh, and in here it's Icon. It's more like a pinky, uh, white shade but still very warm. Guys, I'm so confused. I don't know which shade I would choose for you today. <laughs> but if you can see all these beautiful shades, I think I will go forth with uh, something warm. So I will use like Peaches and Dreams, uh, like a transit shade. Later, I think I will break this warm tone a little bit with this Taupe, taupe. Uh, and then, and then I don't know, maybe I will go with some brown look. Yeah, I think I will go with this brown. Once again, it's a big palette. Uh, if I compare for you with Huda Beauty, you can see. Uh, as a brushes, normally I use Morphe brushes, but because I got to review for you guys this nice, beautiful iconic London. I will work with them. Um, as a blending brush, I don't know if I will like this brush because uh, it's a bit uh, long in here and I don't like so much long brushes. I don't feel comfortable to blend with them. Uh, we have also uh, some point uh, brush. Uh, this we have to crack. Uh, Crush, uh, crush, cut crease. I never use that brush, but we will try today. Um, this is uh, um, some put in brush. This is, I think, brush for concealer if you want to uh, cut crease or something. Uh, and then we have liner uh, brush. And this one, I guess it's under uh, eyeliner or maybe you can have like a eyebrows brush, I don't know. But let me start and first I would take this brush, which is no name, but you know, this very long <sighs> blending brush. I will do my eyeshadow look step by step and I will not talk with you because this video will take forever, but you can see what I'm doing. So, uh, when I finish my look, I will uh, tell you what I think about the shades. I will tell you if they, they are easy to blend or not. I will not lie, I was working with this palette before on Itai when I was on wedding. Um, yeah, but uh, check a look by yourself if you will like it. <laughs> Okay, I had to do some pause because I have some problem and I don't know if this problem is because of these brushes, because those hairs, they are so tight. Um, and each time I put product, put I put eyeshadow on my eyelids, like this brush just take away. And I put again and take away. And they start to be patchy also. But uh, now I go with my Morphe, uh, M573 and I will try to put this shade Deep Soul uh, one more time. I will try to blend and we will see what will happening but till now I'm not happy. Like I'm not happy at all. So see you soon. <laughs> oh 
Okay, still my look is not finished because on the middle I will put this shadow, uh, liquid shadow because we want to try this, but this dark uh, brown, which I show you, it's, it's this one. Um, first I was thinking it's a problem because of, um, because of uh, the brush, but later on it doesn't matter, I change also for this brush. Well, I could manage something, but I expect so much uh, pigment from this shade because when you first apply on your brush and you go to your eyelids, you have a lot of pigment. But as fast as you start to blend this, like everything disappears, like everything. And then you put again, you make the same situation, everything gone. So it's not so much pigment made this on your mind. Let's go now to this iconic new uh, chrome eyeshadow. Look like that. Once again, shade. My shade is uh, lunar. <laughs> okay, I think it will not suit my look today, but whatever. This is how it looks. It's more like uh, some gold, silver, cold, and it's just dry now, um, quickly. So we go with this big, flat um, cut crease, probably brush, and I will go inside. Oh. Some access from brush I will left on my hand and slowly I will pick it up and I will put on centrum my eyelids. So this is beautiful. What I love on this liquid uh, from shadow, uh, it feels soft on your eyes and um, for sure dry, so you know like nothing stuck up on your eyelids. Mm, very quickly, I want to connect in this look. Okay, so I think my eyes, they are finished lower. I put also the same brown shade. Um, I think I will go with some eyeliner, but I will do this behind the camera and we come back to Iconic Lashes. Chromo Flash uh, Shadow cost uh, about 250 crowns and they are few other shades. This is Lunar, but we have also Cosmic, we have Mystic, we have Spellbound and we have Ellipsa. About the brushes, they come with this beautiful uh, bag, a uh, price of set brushes and they are one, two, three, four, five, seven brushes for eye, it's complete eye set cream and gold, it have value about 530 crowns, about 500. And I will come back to you when I'm ready with my eyeliner. Mm. I just did delicate liner to connecting my look. I put some mascara and now we go to lashes. Lashes I check online, they are synthetic. Uh, Iconic London don't have any product with animal involved, which is perfect. And this is how they look. I don't know what is the name because you cannot the original, original be iconic, but I think all lashes they have the same name. Uh, packets look very beautiful. As you know, I'm champion slash Dunky, uh, but I will check these lashes for you and I will tell you if they are soft or not, um, how I feel on my eyelids. Uh, they look very natural, I have to tell you. First, what you always have to do with false lashes, you have to check the length. Uh, they cannot start directly from the 
your inside the corner eye and they cannot be longer than your natural length so always uh, we have to clip we have to cut, cut them and very often I do this from beginning and from the end uh, shape of the slashes they are a little bit shorter from the nose and more longer on the end so it's a bit like cut eye uh, resultat which I live for I love a little bit longer uh, eyes on the end mm, yeah so stay with me and you can look what I'm doing step by step Okay, I cut my lash and uh, she seems to look perfect for me mm, and I will do this behind the camera with my uh, another one. Both lashes they are cut and now I will apply uh, the glue. I didn't have glue from Iconic London but I have glue from Champions Lash which I love it. I don't have any allergic product uh, problem with this glue and I use this glue about one year every day. I always left those lashes for about five minutes before I put on my eyes or even longer. As much glue is dry, it's better to apply for your eyelids. When glue is very wet, um, forget it for good uh, application till now when my lashes uh, slowly dry uh, I will go a little bit with contouring my face and for this I will use my till now uh, I mean one year uh, I use this palette I mean KKK KKW Beauty uh, this is my best uh, contour palette it's also highlighter palette bam uh, this is medium uh, kit go with my favorite shade which is in here and I do circle motions in here slowly slowly then I became more you know slim on my face I like to go a little bit more up on my cheekbones as well um, you know, this is so individual from every face. I don't like to go up, I like to go like this because then my skin, my face look more slim. You see how directly I remove this thickness of my face. And I will do this with my other side and with my forehead and I come back to you with my lashes extension. Okay, lashes on. I have to tell you this, they look gorgeous. They look very soft, very flirty, but the tape, like I was thinking, tape is very hard. So it's not easy to put them on the eyes because each time you put this side, others stand up. Uh, I think I have to finish fast this uh, tutorial because from the corner they will separate and it's not glue fault because I work with this glue long time. It's just because of tape, it's hard. But on the end of end, they are very soft and uh, I like the way how they show my eyes. I'm in love with some blush and with some brown actually, what I will do some other tutorial. Uh, but I just want to show you my favorite blush and it's not easy for me to find blush as well. It's Model's Own. This is the, bl the blush and this is how it look. I know maybe you can think it's too dark but I will show you. Oh. Ah, can you see this? I love this blush. I just... Um... Can you see how much fresh uh, look my face in, in here than here?
a little bit here, a little bit on nose, on my forehead. That now because I want to show you. Yeah, guys, I want to show you iconic London liquid drops, and this is Illuminator. And I have original shade. I think I got the most beautiful shade. No, my lashes fall off. I told you. Mm. Oh, crap. But okay, I will show you the drops. This is how they look. You can work with brush or you can just put with your finger. I will just go with the brush. I love this. I really love it. Okay, I will just try to do something with these lashes more and I come back to you, okay? Because they just... Okay, I put a little bit more glue and I hope they will survive to the end of the video. By the way, on my lips, I use my favorite lip gloss, which is from Pixie and Chloe Collaboration. And this is Cake, Lip Icing uh, Cake Shade. It's just one, by the way. I do recommend. I love this lipstick. Lip gloss. I just love it. On the end, I will represent to you this set prep uh, spray it's amazing it smells beautiful give you like some small sparkles of gold glow and um, it's a bit sticky later but still your skin is so mega fresh all day all day there are also two other shades i think or maybe together they are two uh, I have uh, shade, I don't know, uh, but this gold one. That's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching me uh, once again. Uh, just want to tell you one big detail. Uh, for all, all Iconic London uh, product, um, you have discount code from me. It's 15% uh, discount uh, when you use uh, code MONICA15. Uh, I think so. Yes, Monica 15. <laughs> Sorry guys, I let you information in here once again. So when you will make shopping online, www.iconiclondon.com When you put some uh, product on your bag, on the end, write code MONICA15 and you will have 15% discount. Like I say, for all product, it's no time of limit as well. I have this discount, this collaboration to the end, but we didn't decide when. Uh, so make your shoppings because all these products, they are amazing. Guys, I have to tell you, I'm so, so, how to say? I still don't believe like Iconic, Iconic London is a very professional company and I have collaboration with them, it's so much for me, like it means a lot. Um, so make your shopping and please remember all products what I review, they are 100% honest review by me. Uh, today what I didn't like is till now the lashes. I don't know, maybe when I will play a little bit longer with them, the tape will start to be a bit different. But uh, till now they look beautiful, but for this price, because they cost about 250 crowns, it's too expensive for this 
thick tape. Still, I love how they represent. Uh, what more about eyeshadow palette? Um, I think I would just buy this palette till now for me just because it looks beautiful and they are gorgeous shades. If you are shimmer dunky, uh, I do recommend to buy, but you will be a little bit disappointed with the, this darkener shades like a matte because they are not rebuilding till darker. They are just some colors and you cannot work with them more if you want to keep your eye more smoky or more darker look. Uh, just make this on your mind. Uh, all other products like uh, Shimmer, this uh, Chrome Eye eyeshadow, it's amazing. Um, yeah, till now I love everything. Don't forget to buy Farsali. <laughs> it will change your skin. Like I feel so safe that my skin is protecting from all makeup what I put on my face. Mm, okay, that's it because you start to be boring with me, of course. Uh, thank you so much once again for watching uh, my tutorial. Uh, as I say, if you want me to um, review something else, let me comment below. Just contact with me. That's it. I'm here for you. Wish you lovely, lovely afternoon. Bye!